Hello, fellow creatives from all across the world. Thank you for tuning in. Do you have a really cool story that you want to share to the world and want to upload it to Webtoons, but you just don't know how to draw? Have you tried stick figures? That's right, stick figures. I've been messing around with that concept for a while now and wanted to try it out to see if it works. You know, for those who don't know how to draw very well. But art, you say? I don't own a drawing tablet. Well, do you have a piece of paper and a pencil or pen? If you do, then you're in luck because all you need to do is either scan it, if you have a scanner, or take a picture of your artwork with your smart device and then email it to yourself. Then you can start working with it in mid-journey by uploading your image, like I did in my image weights video, which you can find at the top right of your screen. You're going to use the remix tool as well, so if you don't know what that is, head on over to the right top screen again and you'll find the remix video that I created last week. Here's a little test I did with a stick figure. I wanted to go for an elderly boxer and that is what I drew, very simply. Then I uploaded it to mid-journey, copied the image link, and then added it to the image prompt. Remember, you'll need to use the image weights algorithm for this one to get close to your stick figure as possible. So mess around with the image weight ranges, although I had to nudge the prompt a little by adding elderly boxer into the prompts. But as you can see, Mid Journey was thinking a boxer dog breed along with the human boxer style. So you're going to have to recycle your prompts a little and create some variations as well to get different prompts. Usually I always press the variation or recycle buttons to get a different generation from my original prompt. Sometimes you'll nail it on the first try. Most times, it's gonna take a while. From there, just upscale the prompts you like and you'll have the chance to remix your prompt as well to make your character smile or give them curly hair or whatever you wish. Remember, the remix tool is in experiment mode at the moment and will go through changes. If you're watching this from a future time from the time of this state, then the remix tool has become the baddest mother shut my mouth. I'm just talking about remix. Sorry, got a little shaft in there. As you can see, it did a fairly good job in recreating the stick figure. Then I decided to remaster it and lo and behold, we get this image. Very impressive. Okay, now I decided to do it again, but this time for webtoon images. Since I noticed most of the designs on webtoons is manga style, so I decided to add in the style of manga to my prompts for my next stick figure. Wait until you get a load of this. I drew a simple character. I know it's not a stick figure, but it's very easy to create. Round head, square body, don't think about it too much, just let your imagination take over. If it's sloppy, don't worry about it. I made a businessman type character, I then saved it as a JPEG image, uploaded it to Midjourney, and saved the image link. Now, for all of these images, including the first stick figure, I added a prompt after the link, you know, to give Midjourney a little help to what I drew. In this one, I added a businessman in an office setting in manga style. I used different quality prompts too. I used dash dash quality 2 with the dash dash up beta, so it could be a little more smooth, you know? Then I tried dash dash quality 5 with dash dash up beta. Again, to be more smooth. And don't forget, you also have to use image weights. Depending on which one looked closer to my original sketch, you're going to have to figure it out on your end though. So here is what I got with the quality 2. It did a pretty good job. Here's the quality 5. And it did a great job as well. So what do you think? Do you think stick figure drawing will be helpful in your mid journey? Well, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. And if you liked the video, please give me a like. And, uh, you know, subscribe. It wouldn't hurt. Well, this is Art signing off. And don't forget, muse it or lose it. Thank you.